What's goodie? It's your boy, and I'm back with another banging video. And today we got the Timberwolves at Warriors, man. Gotta see what my guys did. And I ain't gonna lie, Ant-Man been going crazy. Timberwolves got a good squad. I would like to see they got two bigs. And I've been saying the whole season that the only thing we missing is that inside presence. So we really gonna see that. They got two seven-footers on the inside playing big ball against small ball paws. I didn't I don't even know if that was a pause situation, but I'm not even gonna put myself in that type of, you know what I'm saying? Not even gonna put myself in that type of water. But, I'm not even gonna hold you any longer, we're just gonna go ahead and jump into it. I appreciate you rocking with me, you could've watched it anywhere else. Please subscribe to the channel, you feel me? Other than that, one thing before we jump into the video, please like the video. By liking the video, the way the YouTube algorithm works, YouTube will show the video to more people and you'll be directly supporting me and helping me to grow. So I would really appreciate that. With that being said, let's get it! Okay. We playing aggressive defense. Dang, he's just big body stuff. Okay, now Mike Conley. Oh, we already know Curry snapping. Okay, cat. There you go, go to the rim. You know I like when you play aggressive, boy. Ooh. Ooh, a little hard and blow try is going on. Good three. Ant man, ant man, overpowering. One, the goat, and one. That boy is goaded, man. Mm, mm. Beautiful. Oh, stop carrying. He called. Look, he tried to call carry. <laughs> he was like, "Come on, y'all, call that." Eleven in the first. Oh, McDaniel's. Good finish. Thompson, bro. Come. That's what I'm talking about. That's the energy I want off the bench. Let's go. Hey, no lie, y'all. No lie, y'all. Now that I start thinking about it, hey, Warriors fan, I'm talking to y'all right here. When I, whenever we first got Chris Paul, I was thinking about how bad that was and we didn't have a big. But now that I look at it and we look at and we got Dario Sargent, whatever his name is, um, coming off the bench with Gary Payton and Kaminga along with Chris Paul, Bro, our bench could be possibly the best bench in the league. I'm not. Chris Paul could be a starter. Gary Payton could be a starter on any team. And I'm pretty, I believe Sarge and Kaminga could also be a starter on multiple teams in the NBA. And this is our bench. I think when I start thinking about it small, our bench can outscore a lot of teams' benches. A lot of teams got a one or two good bench players. Bro, we got multiple good bench players. And I'm not going to lie, the matchup when our starters come out is crazy. Not a, but... When I look at it on paper and you start thinking about it, bro, the squad is legit. We're small, but we legit. And as soon as that big that's possibly may might be killing us at first, once he come out, our second squad is going to outrun your second squad no matter what. They're dope. Like, Kaminga, I've been arguing for him to get more minutes, but when I think about it on the water squad, it's not bad to be a backup because you can still eat, bro. Think about the how Jordan Poole ate as a backup. You would have thought he was a starter. Um, dang, bro. I, I like it. I actually like the lineup now. I would like to get one more big besides Looney. But other than that, the team is looking ultimately great. And then there's a bunch of other people on the bench that are, like Moody and the other people. Like, bro, there's a bunch of other hoopers on the bench too. Like, we really got a squad on the cool. I, I like it. And I, I'm going I'm to always keep faith in us and believe it because I'm never not going to, you know, I'm worried this is my squad all day. But, um,. I like the T Wolves too, man. Ant Man is a different type of, you know, different type. Like he's he's one of the top shooting guards in the league, if not the top shooting guard in the league. Cat, we already know we get out of him a big man winning the three point contest. We not like, and he plays good defense. And when he's aggressive on offense, he's unstoppable. 
um, with the presence that I'm talking about, like a go bearer in, in the middle. And then they got Nas Reed too, and I think Nas Reed is really good coming off the bench. I'm not gonna lie, dude is dopeness. He can start on some other teams, in my opinion. Um, I like I like his whole game. He got he got a lot to offer to the team. But um, it's it's a good matchup, a good game so far, and it's very exciting. I, it's gonna be a high scoring one. I'm thinking because honestly, both teams got some terrific scores on each side, and we don't even like. Sometimes we, I'd like to say we lack on defense. We always play good defense, but we always going for the next score as the Warriors to just try to keep running up the score. That's why we play such small ball. But let's just see how this game plays out. I'm like what I'm seeing full floor. Let's jump back into it. Good finish. Boy, Cat with the and one playing bully ball. Oh, well, I thought he was gonna hit that runner. Oh, Sarge under that one. Three people. Let's go. Oh, and Curry with the steal. Curry. Oh, right at the buzzer. That's crazy. Oh, Chris Paul. Chris Paul, it's like we got a starting squad coming off the bench. I'm not lying. That's how I feel. See, I was just talking about Nas Reed. I, was, I know he... He can do a little bit of everything on offense for sure. And he's a good defender. Wiggins. Oh, good finish, Wiggins. Oh. Good save, Gobert. Gobert saved him right there. He forced that. Hey, let's go, Wiggins. Okay. Oh, let's go, Moody. Moody is a hooper. I'm telling y'all, bro. People be so sleep on him. Ant Man. Oh, Ant Man. Ant Man going to work. One of the best scores in the league, if not the best. Ant Man. Oh, clear off the screen. Oh, good play over the top. That's Bro, this game is intense. This McDaniels kid is killing right now. Oh. Oh, good look. Okay, now. Good pass. That was a... That was a crazy pass by Draymond. That was a crazy pass. Wiggins. Oh, Wiggins be trying on Ant, but Ant just got too much size and speed, bro. Mm. Cat stretching the floor is getting ugly. Let's go, Clay. That's money. Money all day from Clay. Just call him Big Money Clay. Okay, we can, we we literally can't do nothing about that. Like literally can't do nothing about that. Ha ha ha! Ouch!
Good shot. That boy Clay just let him go. Alright guys, this is exactly what I was talking about. And I've been talking about this this entire season. A team with size like this, a good inside present, we can't do nothing. Not only do they have the seven footers who just picking the ball up over us and laying it up over our little defenders. Anthony Edwards is possibly the same size as our defenders, but he's bigger and stronger. So he's just going to the paint with ease. McDaniels, I don't even know who he is. Going to the paint with ease. Bro, anybody can see we need an anchor, bro. What are we doing, Warriors? Off his front. One person, one big... He don't have to do nothing else except play defense. Except defend the paint. That's all we missing, bro. I'm so pissed off that y'all ain't did nothing about this yet. We gonna be championship contenders if they change that. But if not, this is gonna happen to us with every team that has a good inside presence. Phone bring, phone bing to that. Uh, let's jump back into it. Damn. Curry. Look at this. Look at, look at Looney. Curry hooping though. Curry hooping. If, if nobody hooping, Curry hooping. Damn it, my boy McDaniels having a game of his life. Just eating. Bruh, he's too aggressive going to the rim. We got nobody that can do nothing with that. I'm, I'm so upset. That boy Curry do not let up. <laughs> that boy Curry do not let up though. <clears throat> Paint sweet. Paint sweet as hell. Paint sweet. Gah. Edward just going to that mid range game or just laying it up in the paint. Like, it's literally like it's not getting contested. That boy Ant Man just took over. Oh my goodness. Shouts out to Ant Man. We do have Trace Jackson Davis, but he's not even that big. He looked like he about 6'10. And look at look at look at him. Not playing aggressively on defense. Oh, we only down seven. Damn it. I seen this coming, man. I seen this coming. I've been saying the whole entire season that we need an inside presence. Basketball one-on-one, -on -one, man. We got everything we need except an anchor. That's all we need, bro. That's, I'm, I'm mad. I'm mad because it's going to be games like this that we, if we can't outscore them, then they just going to beat us in the paint. What if one of our players have an off night and we not like, we have people that can score in the paint, but what I'm saying is we need people that can stop in the paint. They got two seven-footers in there. There was nothing we could do about it. Then Anthony Edwards just going in there, reversing and laying up and hitting Jordan-like fades. Like, come on, man. We got to do something with that. And there's nothing. It's not no nothing the players' fault. It's not the Warriors players' fault. We just don't have the size. We can't match up with two seven-footers in that seven-four wingspan, seven-seven wingspan. What tallest player we got in that six-eight? What they going to do with that? Size and length is everything. We can't outscore everybody like that. I'm sorry. Just if, when you really think about it realistically, the bigger teams, we're not going to be able to outscore because they're going to score so easy. Even though we contested and playing aggressive, they so long as like it wasn't even contested. Warriors played good, man. Only lost by six, but this is this is what happens, bro. One, one change, one anchor, one big man is a totally different game. I'm telling y'all, but it, it, he has to be like... A substantial presence. I mean like an actual anchor. One person that's going to defend the rim with his life. That's what I want. Dennis Rodman type-ish. Well, 
He, Matumbo type is. Maybe a mixture of them two, but just on defense, I, he don't need no offense. I don't, I don't. That would be a legend, I know, but just he don't need no offense, just on defense. All right, but uh, either way it goes, I appreciate you guys watching with me, man. Had to check out my team, man. Um, it was a very disappointing loss, but every time we lose, that's gonna be my excuse. I told y'all we need size. I told y'all, bro. But um, it was an exciting game. It was close, man. It could have went either way. Coming up into the end, man, they closed it in to six, but couldn't pull it off. Shouts out to Ant, man. Um. Shouts out to Cat and them, bro. They looking good on this side. Uh, Michael Conley been balling. They look like they're going to be good playoffs contenders if they keep it up and no injuries come up to them. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, bro, I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Y'all could have watched this anyway. But um, before y'all go, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Everyone subscribe accounts. I'm trying to get the hundreds of thousands of subscribers. And you could be the one to help me reach my goal. But other than that, like the video up. It's the biggest favor you can do me is like the video by liking the video the way the YouTube algorithm works YouTube will show the video to more people and you'll be directly helping me to grow and I would appreciate that But I hope you know what it is until next time. I'm out you